Paul, what kind of tools do you have to get the planes where they need to go? Because it's what, 27,500 flights a day that take off in this country? Commercial flights, yeah, and then if you add in the, the general aviation, it could be up to 50,000 flights a day. So it's a monumental task. When we get to the holiday season, there's really a focus to make sure we have the appropriate staffing in each facility so that we can ramp up and open all positions in these facilities to make sure that we have basically all hands on deck to make sure that we can handle the increased volume of traffic. And I would add at the command center out in Warrington that you referenced, we have professionals on the ground working with your people on a day-to-day -day basis on behalf of our members to make sure the flights are going and what we have to do and again tracking the weather so if there's a weather situation we can get people to move where they need to go. It's accurate. It's the ultimate collaboration that's going on at the command center working with the airlines and so there's truly a collaboration with the users any air traffic controllers, and it's dynamic. It's ever shifting because the weather is moving. Constant taking information, processing it, and finding the best way to move airplanes uh, from point A to point B.